Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up everybody? This is Big Kirk with Prison Talk and I wanna say thank you for tuning in to another episode. If you haven't got a chance to go on our website, please do so. We have a lot of cool stuff. We have t-shirts, we have hats. We're gonna be having shoes pretty soon, some slides. Check us out at www.freshshotseries.com. If you got any questions, make sure you hit us up at freshshotseries at gmail.com and also subscribe to our Twitter and Instagram, which is Fresh Shot Series. I had a question from one of our viewers. Uh, hey, Big Herc, I'm a longtime viewer and love the Fresh Shot Series. In one of your videos, you said that people who associate with punks are looked down upon, but in prison shows, the big dogs or shot callers usually have bitches whose cheeks they are busting. Is it so that the prisoners at the top of the prison hierarchy are the ones busting cheeks, and prisoners at the bottom of the hierarchy are the ones getting their cheek busted? Best regards, a fan from Finland. Oh, oh, cheek busting, huh? Now, to be honest with you, man, I never seen a big homie bust another motherfucker, a little homie's cheeks out, you know what I mean, just on GP. I know motherfuckers who did time in the feds who have been down 20 years, and all they do is beat their meat. You know what I mean? Look at fuck books and make fifis and shit like that. They're not fucking other men in the butt. But then you do have some motherfuckers who are savages. You know what I mean? Who don't give a fuck. They're doing, you know, t life and they basically program themselves to be on man butt. You know what I mean? They like Cornolio. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, you know, type butts. And that's what they do. They prey upon young dudes who maybe have some feminine tendencies, motherfuckers who are sagging, showing off that ass crack because you know you're sagging in there, you're showing your butt, you're saying that you, you're open for a motherfucking, um, you know, for cheek busting, and uh, motherfucker will prey on that. But, um, you know, I don't know of any o OG, you know, running a, uh, who has the keys to the yard, who's running around busting cheeks. When motherfuckers find out about that, usually you get exposed. You know, I was at a spot, and there's a motherfucker named Big Mike. Big motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Shot caller for some dudes, man. And, um, you know, he was beastly. You know, he was known to put in work and shit. And everybody, you know, he was the, he was the man for a particular clique. I don't want to blast this clique out, so I'm just going to say Big Mike. Um, he was the man for this clique. Anyways, a punk showed up. A Native uh, American uh, punk, you know. Not to try to you know talk bad about native americans but this punk was native american but very feminine and when he showed up big mike was excited went to the warden and said hey you know this is my partner we did time at another spot uh could you move him in a cell with me and the warden's like oh looked at the records oh yeah sure you know warden he don't have a problem with motherfuckers getting their cheeks busted you know they they're they, you know they they make you know they on some old political shit and they really they don't let motherfuckers have fuck books in there anyway, so they don't give a fuck. They're on some weird old shit. So Mike uh, moved the punk in, and this punk would uh, iron Big Mike's clothing, uh, cook his food, clean the cell, had the cell all waxed. You know, Big Mike went to work, came home. He had a bitch in the house, and that's how it went down. And the other homie who had a cell next to Big Mike's said he used to hear cheek busting at night. <laughs> Big Mike was putting in work, you know, busting them cheeks out. And uh, this dude, man, he was, uh, you would have never known, man, before the punk showed up. And then he tried to, you know, still call shots and his homeboys weren't having it. They were like, nah, man, you, you're not repping us, man. We're not going to have, uh, you know, a cheek buster calling shots for our clique. It just doesn't look good for image. And Mike, you're going to have to take a back seat to the next in line. And Mike, you know, was reluctant initially, but I think they convinced him that it's best that he just keep busting those cheeks out and do his time and let them handle business on the yard. But um, it ain't respected, you know, it ain't respected. And even, you know, within cliques, some homies know about dudes busting cheeks 
and they don't really say nothing. You know what I mean? Like a dude who's been down a long time and they know dude is on like some predator type shit. They might still entertain him to a degree um, as far as in the car, but they're not really giving his, uh, what he says any weight. He's not calling shots. You know, it's, a, it's like other cliques look up, other cliques look to, your, to you, whoever you're rolling with and your leadership and that's a reflection of the people underneath you. So if you're a guy who's just like, you can't control your own uh, testosterone uh, urges and you're on that kind of time in there and then a lot of these guys feel, well, what kind of decision making can you make when it comes to politically running the car for the crew? You'll compromise the, the crew and you'll do things that will get people caught up. So, you know, if you're going to just bust man's cheeks randomly, you know, then you, how are you going to, you know, if we have a, a situation where, you know, somebody got caught with drugs or, or something happened on a yard or there's a situation with another race, how can we expect you to act rationally when you on some, you know, cheek busting time? And so that plays a big factor. But um, as far as the prison hierarchy, you know, there's not a hierarchy where, you know, the inmates at the top of the food chain or busting down inmates at the bottom. There's motherfuckers who pass through there five years, three years. They're not getting their cheeks busted. There's OGs in there. I've seen that's been down 30 years, get out and didn't bust a motherfucker's cheeks. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers up in there, if they got real game, I mean, if they you know, if they really about some some really some G shit, I seen them knock knock prison guards. They'll take their chances. They'll get at a whatever female pr prison guard or working in there, teacher, psychologist. I've seen motherfuckers knock counselors. I've seen dudes knock uh, teachers, and I've seen motherfuckers, you know, kissing on motherfucking uh, females in the in the in the hallways. I mean, I've seen all kind of shit, and some of these females were married to other staff members and motherfuckers still was knocking them because the dudes in there who got game they're gonna put that game down they're not gonna be you know necessarily busting down men cheeks you know you know and so it just depends on individual but there's no hierarchy of pre uh, cheek busting so as far as the shot collar those movies a lot of that shit man it's just if you walk around a bitch man I i've seen guys in other prisons that had like homos you know uh homosexuals wearing their chains and shit like that and they'd buy him shit and motherfuckers wouldn't give them no respect you know they looked at him like you know that dude yeah he might be in shape but you know what nobody looking to him for no fucking advice you know this dude is fucking he's he's laying in bed he's fucking with another man he's he's uh you know tripping off another dude you know and i see motherfuckers get into it you know fucking with punks you know somebody fuck with somebody's punk and a motherfucker gets stuck so yeah, it ain't um it ain't it ain't anything to be looked up to in the prison system that I've seen personally. Maybe it's different in other places, but I didn't I didn't see a cracking like that in the feds. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at freshoutseries.com.